Welcome once again to the Greg Show. This is Greg. And Rachel, you can walk right in front of me if you want. She thought that uh, she couldn't. Captain John Smith and his men are protecting Guadalcanal from approaching bombers and fighters. In his eight days on the island, Whoa. Smith has already scored five. Let's check it out. Alrighty. So the only reason I stopped it before was to uh, make sure that I have enough a uh, short enough video to be able to post to YouTube without any trouble. Um, I think from my phone I have to limit it to just under 10 minutes. So that's what we're doing. This is the cool town. Let's check it out. This is like an army base. And this guy's asleep. Well, at the wheel, technically. We can't go in. We're not supposed to. Let's keep going. And look, the little city is. Bless you. Let's see his aviators. Yep, he does have some aviators. Y'all want to get a beer while we're here? Let's go check out the town. Good morning. Hey, Jack. No, sir. No, sir. We. Uh, Memphis. Remember that? There's a kitchen in there. They're cooking a big ham. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Hang on, dude. We're going to check out all this stuff. You got to check it all out. And then I think he might like some animal crackers, right? Would you like animal crackers? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll give you some in the. That's a 43 Harley. Yeah. issue, and it still runs. Really? It does indeed. Probably hadn't run in a while, but. Oh, no. I think they take it out about once a year. Is that right? Yeah. That's all these businesses on this side of the street were in Pensacola. No, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you hear that, Jack? Here you go. He's getting animal crackers. Greg, he's here. He's telling stuff. He might want to get a shot of it. In 1943, the cost of living in a house was $3,600. Wow. A new car was $900. Gasoline was 15 cents a gallon. This is going to blow your mind. I know the tuition to Harlem was $420 a year. <laughs> Which was probably high. <laughs> yeah. Well, the second one, the average income was $2,000. That's, wow. That's the catch, right? Yeah, no doubt. Jack. That's pretty cool. Jack, I want Jack. Oh, you got animal crackers. She wants one. Thank you. You ever name that song? Mm-mm. Oh, Pistol Pack and Mama. I like it. Who is it? Do you know? I don't know who's singing. It's probably one of those songs that's been covered by a bunch of folks. Pistol Pack and Mama. I remember that pistol back in my <laughs> This is a true story. It happened at your church in Texas as a six year old place was going to sing a special. And everything was going fine, but one of the six year olds had a three year old sister. She pissed her shit to her mother, and she finally she said, Just let them stand with you. She won't know the song. But when they were singing it, her mother noticed that she's singing something. She must be making it up. When a girl got through singing, she was singing Pistol Pack and Mom. Oh, what's the name more than the church? It's a true story. Inappropriate That's for great. church, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pistol Pack and Mama. Yeah, I said that Sunday morning church. Excuse me, that's a... We got the pawn shop. Favorite 
And here's the old propaganda, wartime propaganda. Council's most important campaigns was the American Red Cross. Its war funds were drives for the American people to donate money. The money the Red Cross received went for training nurses who went to the war to help the doctors. Sit out here on the porch. <sighs> In the little town. I think this little town is very cool. It's a very cool little town. Well, we're going to sign off for now. I'm sure we'll check in again later. Thanks for watching uh, The Craig Show, starring Greg. Bye-bye for now.